Thanks for visiting Phil B for Gold. I hope you enjoyed your lesson and what I want to do now is give you a short video recap of what you learned today. Thanks again and best of luck. Hi Tracy, nice to see you this morning. Just want to recap on some bits we worked on. I'm just comparing you here to Michelle Wee and the first thing we're going to look at is at your head. I've drawn a circle around yourself and her. If we look at yours as you take the club away, we'll see that as you start to get to the top of your swing and we can see your head is moving out of that circle quite a lot. Length for swing is really, really good. And the reason why your head is coming out of that, that circle is really that your right hip, this area here, wasn't really turning behind it. It was straightening too much, which was unfortunately making your head lift up. If we look at Michelle's now, as she works to the top, we can see her head is not moving at all. If anything, it's starting to lower, which is what all great players do. Their head starts to lower. So if we just get you uh, in the same position as her on the way down, the next thing we worked on was really your legs. We can see you and her in the same sort of position. The only real difference is I would say Michelle's got probably about 65-70% of her weight on her left leg as she starts her downswing. What we can see with you, you're definitely more leaning more to the, to the right. Uh, so there's definitely more weight on that right side. And that feeling there is going to throw the club out. So we're going to lose this strong angle here far too early in the swing. So as we can see, as we start to come down here and we get your hands opposite your right thigh, we can see your club and arm is in one straight line. Let me just get rid of some of these. So we can see at this position here, that's your angle. If we look at Michelle's, as she starts down, because she's moving left that little bit quicker, we can see how much lag she's got. So when she reaches her right thigh, we can see, look at her shaft. It's in a very different position to yours. So coming into the rough, that's why she's going to hit it uh, strike it a lot better than you and this is one of the reasons why you're not hitting it quite as far so to fix that the drill I liked for you really was we just set up in line with the ball um, so it's normal swing I want you to set up sort of here and keep hitting the ground as hard as you can anywhere in this sort of motion here anything in front of the ball and that will just start to get your top half of your body and your lower half just going left that little bit quicker uh, when I took you on the golf course we could see that made a massive difference. And when I say hit the ground, I mean make a divot and actually get some mud up. Don't just scratch the grass in front. You need to practice it so you're actually, when you're doing your practice swing, scratching it about six to eight inches in front of where you actually intend to strike. So when you actually go on the course, you actually strike the ball. Uh, I hope that helps for you. If you just have a look again, a quick recap. So we're going to turn that right hip on the way back. That's going to stop your head coming up and down. We can see your head at the setup is is uh, in, you know, below the clubhouse. We can see that in the background and we can see as you get to the top, your head goes above it. So that's for the first thing, get that right hip turning behind you. And then from there, we're gonna start to work left as fast as possible and hit the ground as hard as possible in front of the ball to try and keep that lag. So if we look at your position there compared to Michelle's, if we go back where our hands are, we can see there's a very different angle in the wrist, but we know you can hit it a long way because if we get to the top of your swing, you and Michelle there have got the same angles there. You've both got the same lag at the start of the swing, and the only thing is she just keeps it longer on the way down. So you can definitely start to hit it miles, Tracy. You've just got to keep working and working here in that divot for me. Well, I hope that helps, and if you have any questions or you're finding a move particularly difficult, please contact me on the numbers on this page or via my email address, philbeaver at hotmail.co.uk. Many thanks.